Two details tonight about the agencies involved in last week's officer involved shooting on Madison's east side. Now, according to the Dane County Sheriff's Office, a total of 21 law enforcement officers were involved in this operation to take Quadron Wilson into custody. 13 agents from the Wisconsin DOJ, three DEA agents from the federal level, three Madison police officers, one state trooper, even one DNR warden. The sheriff's office says it was two DCI agents that fired the gunshots but did not identify them by name. None of the law enforcement officers involved were wearing any body cameras. Sheriff's office has also not mentioned whether Wilson was armed at the time. His family says he was not. Well, even with those new details, we are still left with many unanswered questions that have Wilson's family and supporters looking for more. Talil Mohadeen joined them in downtown Madison as they rallied to make their voices heard. Talil? Eric, this isn't the first time we're hearing from Quadron's family and supporters. Today, echoing calls for justice made twice earlier this week. But now they're directing their efforts at one man who's investigating the shooting. Dane County Sheriff Calvin Barrett. Listen, the sheriff works for us. He's an elected official and we demand to see him to get some answers. Supporters of Quadron Wilson by three different taking their demands to the Dane County Jail. Calling for more transparency. In an officer involved shooting, the sheriff's office has shared little information about. We don't know why, we don't know what. They're still not telling us much. Wilson's attorneys say trying to get those answers hasn't been easy. Pulling teeth, like pulling teeth. Everything has been a struggle, just trying to stay in contact with Quadrian, just trying to make sure that his health is, is taken care of. All of that has been extremely difficult. And what they were able to find out, discouraging. And it seems like every new detail that comes to light makes it all the more clear that Mr. Wilson was the victim of an egregious wrongdoing by law enforcement. Wilson's younger brother, Maine Morris, once again raising concerns about the 38-year-old's medical care behind bars. Are you in pain? Yes. Are, are you asking to go back to the hospital? Yes. And are they helping you at all? No. No justice! No, please. No justice! No, please. Wanting more than anything for Wilson to be taken back to the hospital. We're not looking to start no rage or riots. All we asking is for them to release my brother to the hospital and he can get medical attention and his lawyers can deal with the legal stuff. In their desire for more accountability, Wilson's family and supporters are also demanding the names of the two DCI agents involved in the shooting. They're also urging dash cam footage be released, dissatisfied with traffic cam footage only showing the moments after the shooting. To Halil, thank you. And with so many unanswered questions, be sure to stay with News 3 Now and Channel3000.com for any and all updates on this developing story.